My name is Michelle Diavella and I'm a breathwork teacher. I've been practicing this work myself for about five and a half years and I have been teaching and facilitating um, for about three, three and a half years. And over the past three years, I've been wanting to make a video to post onto YouTube and have just not prioritized it. Um, and I'm doing that now because I wanted to uh, introduce you to this work if you're unfamiliar. And I also wanted to create this as a reference and resource for those of you who maybe don't have the financial resources right now to um, hire somebody to work with um, or to pay for any of the online services. Um, so this is a resource for anybody, whether you're completely new to this work or you have some experience. Breathwork is a very powerful healing tool. So I use it specifically for emotional and spiritual healing. Um, we're gonna be breathing in a really simple pattern into your belly, into your heart, and when then we're gonna exhale out the mouth. This is a breathing pattern that is taught by my teacher, David Elliott. I've been studying with him for over five years. And what we're doing when we're breathing is we're starting to let the mind go and we're connecting to the body. And in the body, we're holding all of the painful experiences throughout our entire lives. Um, our cultures really don't provide us with a way of processing pain, especially emotional pain. And so what we're doing is we're starting to feel what's in the body. And so you might feel some emotion surfacing, you might feel some sadness, you might feel some anger, whatever emotions are coming, coming up, it's really important for you just to allow them to surface and then to release. So I'm going to teach you the breathing pattern and then I'm gonna have you lie down and then I'll run you through it. So you can take one hand and just place it right on your low belly, below your, your belly button, and then take your other hand and put it right over your heart. And then we're gonna breathe one inhale into the low belly, one inhale into the heart, and then you'll exhale out the mouth. So we'll do a couple rounds together. So all in and out of the mouth, you can let your jaw hang a little bit loose. So inhale, belly, inhale, heart, exhale. Inhale, belly, inhale, heart, exhale. So two inhales in, one exhale out. So we're not retaining the breath at all. This is a fluid circular breath and we're breathing in that way because we want to get the energy moving in the body. So you might start to feel some tingly sensations as you're breathing, that's totally normal, it's your energy. And I'm gonna have you go ahead and lie down right now. You can lie down anywhere that's comfortable for you. It could be a couch, you could have a yoga mat on the floor, you could just lay on a rug or the carpet, you can lie on your bed, anywhere that's comfortable. Just make sure you don't have a pillow underneath your head. I want your throat to be nice and open. Make sure your legs are uncrossed. You can have your arms by your side. Sometimes when people start, they like to put their hands on their their chest and their belly. You can do that if you like. And go ahead and close your eyes. If you have an eye pillow or you wanna put a scarf or even a t-shirt over your eyes, that can be nice to help you go a little bit deeper into the experience. You can always pause this and go grab something. And then when you're ready, we're gonna start breathing, so. big breath into your heart and then just let your breath fall out of your body you don't need to push your exhale out just a gentle release and you're gonna keep breathing just like that your only job right now is just to lay still still as you can 
and focus on your breath. So we're gonna let the inhales be nice and active. And then you can just relax your body on your exhales. And in the beginning, especially if this is your first time, usually the mind might be wondering whether or not you're doing it right. And so just trust you're doing it right. I'm gonna breathe with you for a couple of rounds. So just go ahead and breathe along with me. You can match my pace. Good, and then just go ahead and say out loud, it's safe for me to breathe. So the beginning is the hardest part where combating the mind a bit, the mind might get really active, you might start wondering if you're gonna be able to keep breathing like this, you might be wondering, you know, what's happening to your body, you might be observing your experience, you might be thinking about something else that's going on later today or something that's just happened. So just see if you can thank your mind for trying to do its job the mind's job is to protect us, and that's what it thinks it's doing. So you can thank it for all the hard work it's done throughout your life. And then just let it know that right now it gets to take a break. And you can imagine your mind falling out the back of your head, letting it really release and then just bring your awareness to your breath. So feel your breath move into your belly, feel it move into your heart, feel it release from your body, and then right back into your belly, your heart, let it go. And then say out loud, it's safe for me to be in my body. No one can take my power away. Great job. If your mind is still hanging on real tight, you can bend your knees and put your feet on the ground. And then breathe a little more deeply into your belly. No matter what stories your mind might be telling you, you can just feel into your heart, especially on that second inhale as you're breathing into your heart, that you're here for a reason. Something guided you to this moment. And you can just let that in and let that be okay without needing to know what that reason is. We're gonna breathe a little bit longer, so keep your breath nice and deep. So right now we're only breathing in and out of the mouth, so we're not breathing through the nose at all. You can just check in, make sure you're breathing in through your mouth and out through your mouth. And that's gonna help you connect to your body, open up the energy in your body.
And if you're starting to feel some emotion, if some sadness is coming up, that's okay. Just let it come up and out. Let yourself cry if you need to cry. Let that sadness wash through you. And then you'll move back to the breath when you're ready. If you're feeling a lot of resistance, some frustration, if your body's feeling really fidgety, if you're yawning a lot, if your mind's really active still, you can just go ahead and take a giant breath in, big breath in, and let out a big yell. So if you have neighbors, you can put your hands over your mouth to muffle the sound, but give yourself permission to really let it go. And then when you're done, back to your breath. Right around this point, you might be feeling some tingly sensations in your body. You might be feeling your fingertips, your hands tingling. Your heart might be starting to open. So you can just allow that. Just know that it's normal. That's your energy. You can feel in that it's safe to feel your energy. It's safe for your heart to open. And you can imagine your heart getting even bigger as you keep breathing. And you can feel into where your limitations are when it comes to love. Where do you withhold your love? And where do you not allow yourself to receive love. Where's your edge, your boundary, and just breathe into that. And you can feel into that space between your shoulder blades and let that space start to soften. Imagine any tension that's there melting. You can put your hands on your heart as you're breathing and feel into your heart and say out loud, I'm worthy of love. And any part of you that's resisting that, just send some love there. just about another minute or two. So if you're feeling stuck, you can let out another big yell. You can shake your body out and you can bend your knees if your knees aren't bent yet. And 
then deepen your breath. And you can see where you're holding yourself outside of your experience. Are you observing what's happening? Are you analyzing it? And can you let go of that part of your mind and just sink into your body and give yourself permission to feel? We all have an incredible amount of pain that we're carrying around. And that's within you right now. And so can you allow yourself to feel it so that you can heal? And any part of you that's feeling that pain right now, you can just let yourself know it's okay. It's okay. And offer your own love to yourself, to those wounded parts of yourself. Okay, so you did really great. You can just let go of your breath. If it's comfortable to breathe through your nose, you can. If it's not, if your nose is stuffed up, that's all right. You can just let go of your breath. So let your breath just start to slow down, regulate on its own. And you can extend your legs if they're bent. And just let go. Rest. Anything that you're feeling in your body, those tingly, buzzy sensations, if that feels alarming or you're wondering if it's okay, it's okay. Just let yourself rest. You can affirm that you're safe. And just see if you can let yourself really let go. Let go of your mind a little more, sink a little deeper. You can start to let some gratitude into 
your heart, your body. There might be someone who comes to mind that you feel a lot of gratitude for. Maybe you want to send some love to them. And if you want, you can wrap your arms around your chest, give yourself a hug, thank yourself for showing up today, for everything you do for yourself. So you can stay in this space for as long as you like. Let in any insights, wisdom, connect to your intuition. And if you want, you can do some journaling afterwards about anything that showed up for you in the session. You can continue to work with this meditation on a daily basis if you like. I do have some other support tools for working with the breath as a healing tool. I have a guide called Getting Started with Breathwork and it is um, essentially a system that you can use to create an ongoing breathwork practice. There are three different lengths of guided meditations, music playlists. There's a 30 page ebook that I wrote on healing, the healing process. There's an FAQ, which I call, is this normal? Because every time somebody asks a question about breath work, it often comes with, is this normal? So I go through you know, the common experiences and questions people have about breath work in that as well. And then there is a 30 day challenge. So if you want to challenge yourself to practice breath work for 30 days and see how it impacts your life, there's a guide to do that in there as well. The link to that is right below. And I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I work virtually. I am usually based in LA. I sometimes do in-person sessions in LA, but most of my work is online. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really, truly appreciate you. I absolutely love this work. I love facilitating this work. I love working with breathwork on my own. This work has dramatically changed my life in so many ways. and. It's changed the lives of so many people that I work with as well. So if you're interested in exploring more, you can head over to my website, pushingbeauty.com. If this video served you in any way, it would mean a lot to me if you like it and subscribe to my channel. More coming soon. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. If you're interested in learning about the ways that breathwork changed my life, you can read the article I wrote called 10 Ways Breathwork Changed My Life, which is also in the link below.